Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Recon here with your weekly update video for you guys. Before we get into the rest of the video, ladies and gentlemen, stream is going to be 9 a.m. U.S. Central Time. It is the Magic Card stream. Ladies and gentlemen, stop by for that. The current champion is Muse. I don't believe he said he will be there to defend his title. That means we might have a new Magic Card champion this weekend. So, if you don't know how to participate, you stay up in the stream. You, uh, in the chat, in the Twitch chat, you will guess a number, and that is the number I pick on what card to flip. If you get the ultimate prize, you get a mark on the board, and whoever guesses the most ultimate prizes correct with the amount of wands we have, become the Magic Card Champion, ladies and gentlemen. So stop by for that. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your support's really appreciated. Don't forget to smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, and leave a comment down below on this week's events. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this week's events. Um, so... We have a new Hermes skin. Believe it or not, I'm just going to give a little hint. We are working on a new tier list. Don't know when it's going to be out because Kong Ling is coming out, so we got to test her. But Hermes is actually doing pretty good. So if you got Hermes copies and you don't have other girls that would maybe say on the tier list, you can keep Hermes because she's working very well in the meta. Kind of. Better than some, but not good as others. So that's all I'm going to say. All right. So uh, the event time is going to be 29th to the 5th. So that's 28th to the 4th. So remember, if you're day behind, you're day behind. And the other rewards are going to be 15 space radars. It looks more like a walkie-talkie, but each his own, right? All right, so first up, we got Lost Space Zone. This is a new event. Yes, this is a new event. I have no idea how this is going to play. Um, this is from an, another game, one that thou shalt not name. But um, essentially, uh, you keep flicking spaces, and when you find the next, I guess, space portal, you go to the next round, and you collect the rewards. And as you click through pieces, you get able side rewards, like little, you know, gold. Use lunch boxes, hermit crystals, stuff like that. All right, so 66 spaces on the board, and it kind of looks like this. Then you have supply coordinates, which are, where's the supply coordinate? So right here down, if you can see me circling it, it says you have to find three of those. Once you find three of them, you open the stash. This little arrow right here says hidden portal. That is the portal, the little space portal, right? And then this is a little extra ability you have, which um, says right here, you can select one of these skills, and each skill tells you. So just look at this, or pause it and read it on the screen. If you can, or pull it up in the events tab, whether it be whichever Discord you use. Uh, it should be posted in there, this infograph. Um, each one costs a certain amount of energy to unlock. It means you have to use that many space radars, and then you select it, and it tells you how each one works. So just be aware of that. And of course, this is a special event. It tells you what each one is. Laser energy, copier, hologram machine, and of course, supply coordinates. And of course, space radars can be obtained through daily mail, gem purchases at 40 max, so 100 gems each, and then of course buying them from packs. So the only way to get them free today, free this time is by spending gems and daily rewards. So remember that. All right. Once the event ends, the remaining space radars will, uh, space radar, radars will be automatically exchanged into coins at a rate of 1 million coins each. So just use them. There's no reason to save them. You can't save them, just use them, right? These are going to be the preview of rewards. Uh, maybe free to play gets to here, here, its own three, something like that. Mega whale territory way down here, obviously. I don't know if this is really worth it for even well. I don't know, whatever. I'm not excited about it. I was hoping for slots. I'm not going to lie. I needed some extra rolls, but. All right, so space station supply crates, level one, level two, level three. This is going to be on the show for that. And next up, we have entrance exam. Now. If you're new to the game, I always cover this tomorrow on Friday. So I'm not going to cover this in much detail, but the new girl is Kong Ming Enlight Enlightened. Uh, her skills, uh, what she does has already been posted by Sal. Thank you, Sal, as always. You're awesome with the community. Um, I don't know where he posted it in the English Discord or the French or Chinese. I know in my Discord, he posted it in the events tab because I gave him access to it. Uh, so check that in there. You can pull up the... Uh, down, either download it on your phone, the image, or pull it up on your computer, blow it up, and you can read what she does. Seems okay. Not really enthusiastic about it. I was hoping that she would do heals, like lots of heals, because that would be kind of cool. But well, other the old Kong Ming would heal. Back in the day at 10 Star, she was an amazing healer. The best at the time when she was out at 10 Star. That was a long time ago. But now we just have kind of weird Kong Ming. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Uh, 
this core covers it all. The only thing I'm gonna cover for sure to remind people is that these things right here, see these little tickets I'm circling right here? You can't use them this week, you have to use them next week, so remember that. If you literally click on the ticket, it'll tell you when you can use them and how you can use them. People ask this question all the time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now and tomorrow in the interest exam video. That ticket you must use with um, next week during capsules. And you cannot save them, so please use them. But save your capsules, obviously. All right, next up, admission prep. This admission prep goes hand in hand with the entry exam right here. So the right side of the reward is the admission prep, the extra rewards, and then the free to play one is on the left side. So if you want, you can't see my hand, I'm pointing at the screen, but you get the point. Um, uh, this is a great deal if you're light spending this week. Admission prep is always great. Ladies and gentlemen, always great. All right, uh, daily quiz rewards gonna be upgraded. Oh, I forgot I saw this happen this week. Well, essentially, your little quizzes you do, they'll be double rewarded. So make sure you do those every day. I always like when they do that. Back in the day when we were short on lunch boxes all the time, building stuff, happy that event would come around. Next up, a promotion program. This goes for three weeks. This is a great program. Remember when it first came out, I said, I told them, hey, a lot of people like this, keep it around. A great thing to help people if you're light spending. You don't have to buy it this week also. You can wait till the very last week to buy this, which is great, and then get the rest of the rewards if you want to, right? If not, you can just do free to play. So essentially, you get to choose one. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Get Sibney, right? If you're just starting out the game, go for Sibney 1,000%. Now, if you're kind of later in the game, you're trying to push tests, Diana's gonna be for you there. But if you don't have a Sibney at all, you should probably get her first. Now let's say your test and you've already got Sydney, you've already got your Diana, you've already done your tests, your Diana helps out in the house exams, Sydney, stuff like that. And you're trying to push more into PvP later on, let's say you're way down the road, like you've been playing for a little while, and you don't have a Monica yet. Monica is up here PvP, ladies and gentlemen. She still is. Yes, she is from our testing. We've done a lot of testing, me and my group that I have, and she is very good. So if you're focusing on PvP and you don't have an LB5 Monica, you should probably grab one. Otherwise, the first thing you should grab let me say this again. First thing you should grab from here is Sydney. Forget everything else I said to this point. If, you, if you're just starting the game, Sydney is who you grab. 100%. Okay? Don't let anybody tell you any otherwise. If they do, they're just trolling you. Okay? Cassie, don't do it all. Not worth it. All right. And these are the, how the fantasy book, or uh, the growth, I should say, promotion program works. So you get these rewards on the left for free as you go. So you do daily tasks and daily tasks unlock this. Uh, if you miss daily tasks, I believe you can use gems to unlock them. I think that's how they were doing it. But this is what you get for buying them. They use Monica as an example. So let's say you put Sydney there and you bought it, you get three copies of Sydney and a class set. It's pretty good. And lots of gems. Not bad for $30, to be honest. Monthly kickoff, skipping it, not worth it. Uh, early summer gift, this is the free one. And then of course, if you guys the free free play players or light spenders. If you have gems to go ahead and do this, that's 28 capsules or 3,000 gems. Eh, a little too short, I think, but that's not bad, I guess. Plus, you unlock tickets, which can get you some more rewards. So, bam, there you go. Especially if you want to get the, these ruins and lucky charm. It's really hard on those for you to get. All right. And this one, of course, is you buy it with a pack, which we'll see in a second. Mayday packs. Ooh, interesting. This is for the whales, I'm not gonna cover much. You guys already know what to do when you buy. Some people just click and buy, so do whatever you wanna choose, you choose. Spaceship supplies, it's kinda like the uh, Lovely's Journey supply box right here. Pretty much the same thing except for uh, uh, wheels slash rudders, you get space radar. Next up we have value packs. Oh wow, they have resource boxes this time with these. That's interesting. Not really very enthusiastic to buy. I would hope it would be capsules because then, you know, might be more enticing to buy, but Honestly, these resource boxes are probably trash. Let's be real. All right, and of course, special gift pack. Unlocks third early summer gift right there. There you go. Two elite badges. They're trash anyways, but if you're trying to unlock that third slot on the early summer gift, go ahead right there. And then, of course, space radars and resource boxes. I do not know why they, they're giving resource boxes because they're usually trash. So, or I should say, not trash, but they're not as good as they should be. Special skin pack right here. There you go. Uh, Hermes packs right there, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. All right, since you've made it to the very end, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to know in the comments if you got the reference of the three videos that I have posted. If anybody got the reference, I'm sure somebody did. Post it in the comments what that reference entitles to, 
And of course, if you haven't watched any of those three videos, I encourage you to watch the good on RNG, the bad, and the ugly RNG. Mostly the ugly one, though. It's pretty surprising. You should watch that one at least if you haven't watched it. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.